Well, good morning, afternoon, morning, uh, night, whatever it is for you. Um, I've got this really weird idea for an assignment for you, and um, I'm going to do a little videotape, uh, and I don't know how it's going to work, and I hope it's not too long that I can't get it on sent on my email to because I'm doing this on my phone. And if you notice in the mirror there, I got this little weird contraption uh, that's going to help me do it. Don't know if it will or not. Okay. All right. But anyway, um, if you listen to the lecture, hope you did. Um, oops. Uh, and I, the, your assignment for today is to go around your house outside or whatever. Uh, make sure you be safe and do the social distancing and stuff and um, look for developments, okay? So uh, the first type of development is parallel line development. So I went around my house and looked all over for what kind of parallel line developments I could find. Now, the easiest one to even understand is a box. So let's look at this domino box, okay? Um, let me adjust here. I'm choking myself with this thing. Okay, but here um, you see this box, and you see that none of the, these are all fold lines. There is one seam, and this box was one piece when it started out, okay? And you notice that it has a lid, and it's got these little flaps that go over, so that holds the lid in place. That's how that was designed, so it would hold the lid in place. Inside, I hope you're looking at the inside. Yeah, inside there you can see the the seam. And then on the bottom, uh, they made these nice little, uh, uh, I don't know what they call them, but they fold it over real nice so that it stays. And you wouldn't have to glue or anything. It just stays like that. And uh, so you really don't see many seams. And if I could take this apart, uh, maybe I will take a picture of it later, but I don't want to run this video too long. Okay, so that's probably the simplest parallel line to, uh, development that you'll see. And then, of course, there's all different types of boxes. Here's a box with a lid, but one way to spot them is look for a seam. And so here's a seam, and there might even be two seams on this one this way, but there aren't any seams this way because it's the way they developed it. They developed it around like this and then folded this side over. And if you've got some old boxes to take apart and different ones and stuff like that, you'll, you'll get to see the different types of how they lay out the line developments. Usually you want to use the least amount of material and that's why. And then of course here's the lid and um, this has, uh, it has paper over it, so it looks like seams, but when you look on the inside, there really is only one seam there. Um, so that's a development. And then there's all different kinds of boxes, okay? So this is actually two boxes you can see, or two developments. You can see that there was a flat piece that they folded this way, and then there was a box, and then they glued the box on top. This is the same way. Um, and, but the nice thing about this, it's got a nice little magnetic flap to it. So they added this piece to the development so um, the, the lid would stay nice and flat. It's got a little magnet in it. And then this is actually two pieces. This is developed and this is developed. This and this, I hope you can see that. Here's another one. Um, I guess you get, the, you get the box idea, okay? And, oh, this one is actually, these are two little boxes glued together, and then they have, like, a, a paper around it, and then the drawers. Oh, I got that in there? Okay, so here's the box, and it was flat, and they made the drawers, and you'll look for the seam, and there's the seam, the rest are folds. Okay, so, and then there's some really simple ones, too like this was just a flat pipe and they bent it bent it and you know this is a stake so you can stake your tent in the ground and then of course here is another piece of metal that's been bent um you know at 90 degree angle so that just started out as a flat piece that's very very simple um 
development there. And here's another one, and uh, it's a paint uh, scraper. I tried to get it clean, but it's late. It's after midnight, and that's why I filmed this myself because my husband's sleeping. And anyway, so, but you see how it is been bent. So it started out some, looking like that flat, but they bent it up, okay? So that's some very simple developments. And then um, it, uh, parallel line development. Oh, well, let me show you another, because uh, I thought about this, is that uh, it's not always just metal or cardboard. Uh, you can bend plastic sheets, uh, but not, you know, be careful when you look at plastic because you might think, oh, here's a, you know, here's a parallel line development where it might not have, it might have been um, formed another way. But this is a bag, okay, and if you go around, there's only one seam, so it started out as a big flat bag, and then it rolled it over. So this is, you know, it's made out of bamboo, actually. And then uh, one thing that you wouldn't think of is like clothing, but actually when you see a sleeve and some clothing even now, I think this is it. This is doesn't have a seam on this side. It's only got one seam. Well, where does that seam? Hmm. Wow, that doesn't even have a seam. Okay, I don't know how they made that, but um, this one I think you can see a little better. I my tablecloth's gray, so I put it on here, but. This actually only has one seam, and um, in fact, I'll, I'm going to put a post a uh, picture of a mask that had a, um, a pattern for it. Uh, but this is what, if we flatten that out, that, see, that uh, sleeve part of it, that's what the development would look like. So you can use she, anything that can be bent, metal... Metal, of course, is probably the biggest. Um, you can bend plastics, but usually um, it, it can be rolled, you know, it can be bent. But be careful because a lot of plastic things are not, they're usually ther thermal formed or injection bolted or something like that. Okay, so here, it, and then the next type of um, parallel line development is cylinders, okay? So I found a lot of those and uh, found out toilet paper roll. My husband's going to wonder why there's a bunch of toilet paper uh, laying on the dresser up there. But anyway, uh, so in fact, I didn't, I guess I realized this, but when you look at a toilet paper roll, in fact, I was going to unroll it, but it, I'm not going to because it's going to take too much time on the video. So if you've got one, unroll it. It's not just one <laughs> straight thing. It's actually made a curve. In fact, you probably all have done this. If you all see, you know, opened up a, uh, a uh, I don't know what you call this, a can or a container of crescent rolls, and when you crack it, it goes whoo, whoo, around, around like that. That it, that was rolled into that position, and uh, so, but that is. Uh, parallel line de development. This is a bucket and one thing I always look for to make sure I'm getting a development is the seam. So there's only one seam. Doesn't mean there couldn't have been two and I'll show you something that has two. But so it's just was a, just a flat piece that was formed, rolled into the shape and then um, I don't know how they actually welded that or it, how that actually got together because you can't see any welds but it could be just uh, glued with uh, it, it's got a seam on it and we'll talk a little bit about seams during the lecture okay and then well here's another thing that's close um, it's made out of a, like a canvas and uh, it's got actually two seams but half of it was rolled and then the other half was rolled too so those are kind of unusual cloth and stuff like that. But if, if anybody uh, knows anybody that sews or does sew, um, you know that uh, you, you start with a pattern, a flat pattern all the time. Um, and then, of course, the can of soup. And I didn't know, really know how they made them. So I always, like I said, look for the seam. There's the seam. So they did roll this 
to make a cylinder out of it, and that's parallel line development. I couldn't take that all off because then we wouldn't know what it was. Um, here's another cardboard. This is old. This belonged to my mother, and um, it doesn't look like th this. It doesn't have that. It looks like it was just totally rolled, and um, I don't know. Maybe not because I see something there. And then uh, I was going to actually use these tonight because it was my granddaughter's birthday, and um, it's a cannon, a, a uh, you know, a confetti cannon, and it was raining out tonight, and we were going to just send her a little video, say happy birthday, and pop it, and nobody wanted to clean up the mess in the house, so we just didn't do it. But if you go inside there, it's going to be something similar to that, same thing with your toilet or your uh uh, paper towel roll. Okay, so that's parallel line development. Those are all parallel line developments. I'm going to pause right now because uh, I don't want this video to be too big.